Hi folks, Greg Reverdio here from Pilot Institute. In this video, I want to show you how to register your drone in 2021 and in the next couple of years as well. The reason we're recording this video is because the FAA changed a couple of things on the way that you register your drone. So we're going to go over several things in this video. We're going to talk about the registration requirements for recreational pilots and part 107. There's always a ton of confusion about uh, who needs to register, what kind of drone, blah, blah, blah. We'll have all that in here. We're going to talk about where you're going to register your drone. We'll talk about how to find the serial number in the app for your drone. This is important because you need that information to register. Then we'll go ahead and show you how to actually register using the FA drone zone which is the only place where you need to register your drone okay nowhere else and then lastly I'm going to show you how you display that number on your drone itself so let's get to it okay let's talk about the requirements because there's two different types of requirements let's be open there is registration for recreational flying and then there is registration for people that fly under part 107. If you fly for recreational purposes, which is all the regulation is under 44809, the US code 44809, the code basically says that all UAS have to be registered before they can be flown. Now there's an exemption for drones that are 0.55 pounds, 0.55 pounds or less, that's 250 grams on takeoff, then if we look in the regulation under 14 CFR uh, 4815, there is an exemption that says that you do not have to register those drones. So if your drone is less than 250 grams, less than 0.55 pounds, then or 0.55 pounds, then you don't have to register that drone. So in this case, nice and easy, you don't need to watch this video, right? I need to mention, when you register under 44809, you have one registration per person and this covers all of your UAS that are flown for recreational purposes. So you have five drones or five UAS and you're one person, you're going to register, get one number and you put that one number on all, on all of your drones. It's $5 for one person in this case and that's good for three years. So very straightforward. Slightly different requirements under part 107. Your drone weights less than 55 pounds, in which case, if you fly it under part 107, then it has to be registered. There is no 250 gram limit when we talk about uh, drones under part 107. The big difference here is that each drone is gonna have its own number and each drone is gonna cost you $5 for three years, all right? So you're not registering the person here under part 107, you're registering each of the drone specifically. All right, so now that we've covered this, the, reg the requirements, let's talk about where you're going to register. And be careful, there's a lot of scammers out there that are trying to take your money. If it's asking you for more than $5, if it's asking you for more than $5, you're in the wrong place, all right? The only place where you need to be is a website that ends with .gov. This is the FAA Drone Zone. I'm gonna put a link down in the description for you, and that's where you get your registration done. It's good for three years, careful, not 36 calendar months. What's the difference? Well, if you register your drone on July 4th, for example, well, it's valid until July 4th, three years later as opposed to calendar months, which would be until the end of the month. It's not valid until the end of the month, okay? It's good for three years. So that's day to day, three years later. Before we start and go into how you're gonna register this on the FAA drone zone, we need to first get the serial number for your drone. And uh, sometimes it's a little bit confusing because there's a bunch of serial number. So I'm gonna go into three different apps to show you. Now, I wanna, I wanna mention that Depending on the drone that you fly, you can skip by looking down in the description of this video. We're going to have links to each of the sections in this video so you don't have to play the whole video uh, and watch something for a drone that you don't own. But I'm going to start with the DJI Fly app because this is one of the most pop popular app out there. I'm going to show you the DJI Go4 app and I'm going to show you the Hotel Explorer, how you can find that serial number. And then we'll go on the FA Drone Zone and then we're actually going to register. If you already know how to do this, then just skip this section and then move to the next section, which is how we're going to register with the FA. But the first thing, so I'm going to go and show you, we're going to go and connect our drone. So I'm going to take the Mavic Air 2S right here and I'm going to turn it on and then we're going to get into the settings. So let's skip to the settings and then we'll get into the App. So once you've connected your drone and you're inside the app, then you're going to go in the top right corner and push on these three little dots. And when you get to the three little dots right here, you're going to go all the way to the right and there is an about section. So here's your about section right here and you're going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down until you get to the portion that says flight controller serial number. You can see the number right here. This is the number that we're going to type in into the FA when they ask us for a serial number. 
It really is that simple. So now let's move on to the Go4 app and see how it looks like in the DJI Go4 app. When you get into the Go4 app, same thing. In the top right corner, we're gonna type on the three little dots. And then once we get into uh, that section, we're gonna go all the way to the bottom where we have the three little dots. And then we're gonna scroll down, scroll down, scroll down until we get to about. About is the very last thing. And then here again, you're gonna have the information if you scroll down, it says flight controller serial number. That's the number that you're gonna be using to put in your registration with the FA. Now let's go to the hotel. If you own an hotel, let's go to that section and see how we do it from the Explorer. So once you connect it to the, the controller and everything is connected in the app, then you're gonna to go to that little gear on the top right corner. And from here, what you're gonna do is go to general all the way at the bottom. And then here again, about all the way at the bottom. And in here you see all of your serial numbers. What you're gonna choose is the aircraft serial number, which is the top, uh, the top one right here. That's what you're gonna enter with the FAA and, uh, and, and provide it to, uh, to the drone zone to get your drone registered. So now let's head over to the drone zone. And actually we're going to register this drone right here, which is the hotel drone, because we haven't done that just yet. And then uh, we're gonna show you how you do it step by step. So let's go there. So the first thing that you have to do to register is essentially go to the FAA drone zone. So here we are, FAA drone zone, that FAA.gov. Again, anything else other than a .gov website, you're not in the right place, you're about to get scammed. So don't get there. Let's click on login at the top. And um, if you're brand new to this, you may have to register first. I have a login, so I'm gonna go in here and uh, and just log in directly to the drone zone. And here, I'm gonna say, I agree, here's my login. I'm gonna click login. And once you get in here, there should be either recreational flying at the top or this should be part 107. So you're gonna decide which one you're gonna do. So because I'm actually already registered as a recreational flyer, I'm not gonna show you how you actually do this because, well, because I can't do it again because I already have a number. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna show you how we do it under part 107, but guess what? The process is exactly the same. So I'm gonna go, in my case, into manage device inventory right here. And then here's where we're going to add a new device. So here's add device. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to add our Hotel Evo 2 6K to this list. So here, the first thing they're asking, remember what I said earlier, is your UAS or device equipped with remote identification capabilities? And the answer at the moment is no. If you know that you have remote ID, then you're gonna click yes, obviously. And when you do, uh, it's gonna ask you for uh, something else. And uh, here, we're gonna click no. So UAS type, is this a home built or is this a traditional UAS? What's the difference between the two? Home built is gonna be something that you built, okay? Something that you uh, completely put together. Traditional UAS is something that you purchased, like the Evo 2, for example. Here, manufacturer is going to be Hotel. Nickname, I can give it a nickname. I'm gonna call this one Evo 2 6K. If you, you can put whatever you want in here. This is, this is for you to uh, look at the list in the future. Model, here, this is the Evo 2 6K. All right, and then the serial number. We looked at how we're going to get that serial number. So I'm gonna go in here and type it because I wrote it down earlier from uh, when we looked it up in the app. So here's my number. And then if you don't have a serial number, it is highly possible that if you buy a drone, some FPV drones don't have a serial number, uh, some drones that you're gonna build obviously is not gonna have a serial number, then you're gonna click here to say it's not applicable. That's fine, that's, uh, that's part of the process. And we're just gonna click add device. Now when we do this, see what it's doing, it's asking us if we want to add another device. This is the only one that I'm going to uh, register this time, so I'm gonna click done right here. And then now that I'm done, it's in my cart. You see here in my cart, I have uh, $5, so that's the right amount, and I'm basically going to check out. And from here, it's really that simple. So let's go through the checkout process. Uh, we're gonna verify everything, pay, and then let's come back when we're done. All right, we are registered. You're gonna get to that congratulation page right at the end. Now, the number is not right here yet. You actually received an email in the meantime that should give you the, uh, the certificate number, the registration number for your drone, which we're going to put on our drone. So, but first I'm gonna click done, and I'm gonna go back to manage inventory right here. And then if we scroll down the list, I have two pages, I have quite a few drones. If we go back here, you can see at the very end, it says Evo 2 Hotel, and then here is my FA number. That's my registration number. I'm gonna click on it, 
And when I do that, it's going to open up that PDF document uh, with the certificate of registration. This document right here is the document that you want to have with you, either as a PDF available or printed. I print mine, I put them in the binder that I have with me when I fly so that they're always available. It's really that simple, this is your number. Now on that card, I'm gonna zoom in real quick. On that card, here's your registration number, that FA number, that's the number we're gonna print and put on our drone. Speaking of, now we have our registration number. Now we need to display that number on our drone. The FAA essentially says that the, the, the number has to be displayed on the outside of the drone and it has to be visible. And you can't use, you can't hide it in a place that needs tools to get to it. You know what I like to do? I like to put mine in the back of the uh, device right here. Now this is a different drone than the one we just registered, but that's where we put our sticker right here. There's no size requirement. People always ask, there's no font. You can use whatever font you want as long as it's easily readable by the FAA. And no, the FA is not gonna send you a sticker, okay? There's no sticker that comes from the FA. But you know what? I know of a great place where you can actually get the sticker for free. You can go to Pilot Institute slash free. I'm gonna put the link down here. And from here, you'll be able to print your stickers. We'll send them to you for free. And you're gonna say, what's the catch? There's no catch. We're actually doing this for the community. We are sending your sticker, your drone registration sticker, so you can put them and be compliant. So this is one of the service we offer for the, the community. We always get a ton of questions about registration. So let's talk about a few Q&A right here. The first question is, do I need to register both as part 107 and as a recreational flyer? No, the answer is no, because under part 107, you can also fly for recreational purposes. So one registration, it's all governed by part 48. So once you get a part 48 registration, it's valid for all the different activities, as long as you're doing the right thing. So if you fly for part 107 purposes ever, then just register that drone under part, for, for part uh, 107. Otherwise, just register as a recreational flyer. What happens if my registration expires or when it expires three years down the road? You can go on the FA drone zone right here. You can register and, um, and extend your uh, registration. You don't get a new number. You basically just extend the number that you have and then it's gonna be valid for another three years. Another question that we get, do I need to register my Mini if I fly it under part 107 or any drone that's under 250 grams? The answer is, we've mentioned this before, but I wanted to say it again. The answer is yes. If you fly under part 107, then the Mini has to be registered. One more question, does my drone have remote ID? We've talked about this, but I know there's gonna be questions again, so I'm gonna say it again. At the moment, there are no drones that have remote ID. This may change in the future, but if you're watching this in 2021, 99% sure that you're not gonna have a drone with remote ID. You will know once you buy a drone because the manufacturers are gonna make this a big selling point because this drone is equipped with remote ID. So that's all I have. If you find this uh, useful, consider subscribing to the channel. We have a ton more uh, material that we're putting out for you guys and then you'll get notifications. As always, subscribe, like, do the things that you do and, uh, and leave a comment. I know there's gonna be questions, leave them down there. We answer all comments, unlike a lot of other places that have uh, YouTube channels that don't listen to comments. We do, we like to listen to you guys and we like to interact. So that's all I have, fly safe and I'll see you guys next time.